But here's a piece from the IB Times in the UK. 27-year-old co-pilot Andreas Lubitz, believed to have deliberately crashed German Wings Flight 4U9525 plane, killing 149 passengers, trawled gay porn websites and sites relating to suicide, investigators have revealed. A police source in Dusseldorf revealed uh, when they looked at his computer that he trawled the dark side of the web, visiting, among other things, sites containing gay porn, suicide themes, and sexual perversions. Later in the piece, the pilot was the target of gossip about his sexuality after briefly working as a flight attendant. Lubitz was given the nickname Tomato Andy, a German term for repressed homosexuals. Apparently that comes from the, from the truth that a tomato is thought to be a vegetable, but it is really a fruit. That's according to Gay Star News. That's where the Tomato Andy thing uh, comes from. Reports have suggested he was troubled by his sexuality. The 27-year-old was treated by four psychiatrists in the months leading up to the fatal plane crash. A small mountain of drugs believed to be antidepressants were found at Lubitz's apartment. You know, now one of the things, uh, you know, and I'm not saying this is the cause. Please don't misunderstand me. But it's striking that one of the health risks that's associated with homosexual behavior is an increased risk of suicidal ideation. I'm looking at a piece on a pro-gay website just talking about the suicide rate among uh, uh, youth. Studies have found that GLBT youth attempt suicide more than three times more frequently than their heterosexual uh, counterparts. A Canadian study estimated that the risk of suicide among LGB youth is 14 times higher than heterosexual youth. Among youth who attempted a suicide, almost as twice as many uh, GLBT youth said they really hoped uh, to die. Between 30 and 40 percent of all transgender people report having attempted suicide. If you go to the Gay and Lesbian Medical Association, that's a pro-gay website run by homosexual medical professionals or medical professionals that are sympathetic and supportive of homosexual behavior, they will list that as one of the risks that are associated, one of the health risks. You need to talk to your provider about this because you are at risk of suicide. And now we are discovering that perhaps he was involved in homosexuality, was taking drugs for depression, uh, and perhaps that it would explain his suicidal crash of that plane.